I'm Will and welcome to the Tesla Jigsaw. Today I want to talk about why Tesla is not a car company. If you think that Tesla is just a car company, you're not the only one, but you are mistaken. Tesla has multiple businesses within itself, a conglomeration of startups, some of which have been growing into what could be standalone businesses in themselves. Let me take you through a few. Number one, a car company. Okay, it is partly a car company, it makes cars, but not just any cars, sexy cars. Another wonderful long running joke that did have me wondering at the time, what is Tesla going to call its lorry stroke truck? Well, Elon's got a massive semi and he couldn't wait to whip it out and show you. And just as importantly, it gave the final letters of sexy cars. And Tesla would never need add another product to their lineup in fear of having to create an entire sentence. As Elon put it, Teslas have embarrassingly high prices. This is due to the huge demand and unreasonable wait times for their vehicles. The prices have had to increase to stop wait times going into the future. As they now have four worldwide factories ramping up, supply and demand should get a little more reasonable. Teslas are on track to continually lower the purchase price thanks to cost-saving manufacturing techniques. Tesla has an ultimate advantage with the Gigapress, which makes a single piece instead of multiple pieces of car, resulting in higher quality, a lighter vehicle and cheaper cost. This also eliminated a third of the robots in Tesla factories. The Octovalve is another genius solution for Tesla's heating and cooling. The Octovalve is a highly advanced valve that regulates the thermal heating and cooling of multiple car components in one self-contained unit. The design is relatively complex, but it results in a very compact and lightweight system. Battery backs are now structural, again allowing a cost reduction and simplification to manufacturing. Tesla then has shown itself to be revolutionising and simplifying the manufacturing of its vehicles. For comparison, it takes 30 hours to build a Volkswagen ID3 and just 10 hours to build a Model Y. What have car companies been doing all these years? Nothing! Absolutely nothing! Did you know that most car companies don't even make parts or the software for their cars? They just assemble parts that other companies have made and slap their own badge on it. Tesla, on the other hand, offers a vertically integrated product that is mostly manufactured in-house, reducing supply chain issues or dependence on hardware or software from other companies. The electric motor, batteries, car parts, seats, self-driving software, infotainment, all is designed and built by Tesla. The CEO of Ford, Jim Farley, emphasised the company's need to move away from the catalogue engineering business model at a conference earlier this year, saying the most important thing is that we vertically integrate, you know, like Tesla's been doing for all these years. Number two, Tesla is a battery manufacturer. I know, not very exciting, but these are what matter. After purchasing long-term contracts from batteries from everyone they could get their hands on, there were still not enough batteries for Tesla's ambitious growth plans. So, they designed and manufactured their own. Just like that. But much better ones. The 4680s. No other car company makes its own batteries. This is the bedrock of what Tesla is becoming. An enormous battery manufacturer that will no doubt also get into the mining and refining of the raw materials that are needed to exponentially grow. So we have a look at that word. Exponential growth. Growth whose rate becomes even more rapid in proportion to the growing total number of size. Right, close that up. I've lost my place now. Number three, Tesla is a solar roof and tiles business. Tesla acquired Solar City back in 2016 as part of Tesla's energy division. Energy division. As part of Tesla's energy division. Energy division. Tesla acquired Solar City back in 2016 as part of Tesla's energy division. It's been, <laughs> it's been working towards ramping up its production and installation for some years now and offer not only standard solar panels for your roof, but also glass solar tiles. Tesla's in-house team of energy professionals have installed nearly 4 gigawatts of solar across approximately 480,000 roofs, generating over 25 terawatt hours of clean energy. That's a lot, isn't it? The good news is that Tesla is already opening up its online store for Tesla solar roof tiles and will accept orders from around the world. Apparently 2023 is when overseas deliveries will start. Charging your Tesla from your own solar panels must feel pretty smug. Number 4. Tesla is an energy storage and arbitrage company. Arbitrage. Arbitrage. A bit pretentious word, isn't it? 
Energy arbitrage is simply purchasing more electricity during off-peak periods, storing that electricity and discharging it during peak periods. Tesla has built its own software to control the buying and selling of energy called Autobidder. Autobidder provides independent power producers and utilities the ability to autonomously monetize battery assets. I, I did actually write all this myself. That, that little line there, yeah, I got off the internet, I'll be honest. But, you know, most of it, can you tell, is, is written in my language. OK, the ability to autonomously monetize battery assets. For example, if you have solar and a power wall, Autobidder software will sell your excess electricity back to the grid at higher costs and top up your battery if needed with the cheapest off-peak electricity. It basically takes the faff out of working stuff out for yourself and makes you money while you sleep. Brilliant! Let's not forget those batteries that Tesla make. They're needed here too. Energy storage is key to storing electricity from solar panels, wind, tidal and other sustainable means of creating electricity. This can then be used later when the sun goes down and the wind stops blowing. Not only does this mean that homes can become self-sustained off-grid little power plants, but on an industrial scale, they are disrupting the utilities sector. In 2017, the Hornsdale battery in Australia became famous for coming online in under 100 days after an Elon Musk Twitter bet that he could get it up and running in that time. Otherwise, it would be free. And later, the battery reacted to a crashed coal plant and in just milliseconds continued to power the region. The Megapack, then, is a powerful battery that provides energy storage and support helping to stabilise the grid and prevent outages. With 14 Megapack locations in operation around the world, 16 more planned and in construction, and many more Powerpack locations, which do the same thing on a smaller scale, Tesla Energy is scaling up fast and will play a big part in transitioning to sustainable energy. On a side note, I do believe that the Hornsdale battery facility paid for itself within two and a half years, so it works out extremely beneficial for these utility companies to get on board with batteries. I've noticed people on YouTube usually interrupt their videos round about now to say, can you give me a thumbs up please? It helps the algorithms. I know this is only video number two, I'm not really sure what that means, but if you could, that'd be great. Thank you. Number five, Tesla is an insurance company. Tesla has been rolling out its own insurance across many states in America, with the goal to offer it worldwide in the future. Premiums are based on your real world driving, as they use the technology in your vehicle to see how terrible a driver you are. And of course, if you're okay at it, if you're the type of person who texts whilst driving and doesn't pay attention, you deserve to pay more. And on a personal note from every other decent human being on the roads, <laughs> Warren Buffett, no less, expressed scepticism that Elon could possibly enter the car insurance market for it would be too difficult. You know, landing rockets is easy. Best stick to what you know, Elon. Number six. Tesla has a supercharging network. With 40,000 plus superchargers, Tesla owns and operates the largest global fast charging network in the world. No other company has bothered doing this, which perhaps shows their true commitment to switching to EVs. I think a lot of companies were hoping for Tesla to fail and show that EVs couldn't work. Then they wouldn't have the enormous task of learning how to make electric cars themselves, not to mention having billions of pounds of stranded assets in useless engine factories. The supercharger network then stands alone as an incredible business, running at 10% profit margins and 35% year-over-year growth. Tesla has begun to create a supercharger network that will replace the need of petrol stations. Let that sink in. That's kind of a big deal. Number seven, autonomy. Whoever has the most data wins. Have I been reading out the numbers? I don't know. Number seven, autonomy. Whoever has the most data wins. Tesla has already won then. It's collected billions of miles of real world data through their fleet of millions of vehicles. It's not only years ahead of any competition, but competition for autonomy is literally pulling out of the race, as it can see there's just no catch in Tesla in terms of its data lead and its use of artificial intelligence technology. All Teslas are on their way to becoming fully autonomous, with a million beta testers right now in America racking up the miles without any takeovers whatsoever, in some cases. This has obviously been a much more difficult problem to solve than originally thought, but with incremental improvements, it's coming. The goal is to also build a dedicated robo-taxi without a steering wheel or pedals, and to achieve the lowest cost per mile possible, and that the cost of taking a robo-taxi would be lower than riding a bus. At this point, 
Tesla will have eliminated the need for car ownership entirely. And again, this has enormous financial implications for Tesla's growth, not to mention disrupt the auto business in the same magnitude that cars once did to horses and carts. I like this picture. On the left, it shows New York City in 1900. Spot the progressive person with a car. And on the right, just 13 years later, spot the lonely horse and cart. Disruption happens fast. And I think Tesla's autonomous vehicles will one day rule our world. Rule our woads. <laughs> rule our woads. Rule our world. Oh, damn it. And I think Tesla's autonomous vehicles will one day rule our roads. Number eight, artificial intelligence. Tesla is becoming more of an artificial intelligence and robotic company. It's also still working on Dojo, the supercomputer that trains Tesla's self-driving AI. As Elon said, I think self-driving is one of the hardest technical problems that ever exists, that's maybe ever existed. And really, in order to solve it, we basically need to solve a pretty significant part of artificial intelligence, specifically real-world artificial intelligence. For those that understand this, it's a gigantic problem to solve, but one with huge opportunities and benefits to humanity. Number nine, TeslaBot. If you take Tesla's cameras, neural network, Dojo the training supercomputer, a few batteries, some actuators, Tesla software and management system, you have a Tesla bot. If the improved iterations continue from an awkward, wonky, dragged off the stage version to the slightly more competent version that Tesla showed us on AI Day, I don't think it's much of a stretch to say that in 10 years time, we might well see Tesla bots building not only Teslas, but perhaps versions of themselves, or building the very factories that go on to build Tesla bots. It's not a very coherent sentence, was it? I do believe that Tesla bots are part of Elon Musk's master plan to colonise Mars as well. Why would you send humans when you could send Tesla bots to build up the infrastructure on Mars? Let's end with a quiz. Is Tesla a car company? Or is it a technology company? A manufacturer? A software business? A battery producer? A solar and energy storage solution? A utilities company? A world leader in autonomy? Artificial intelligence and robotics? Or just a simple car insurance company? Whichever way you look at it, Tesla is disrupting and dominating everything that matters. Personally, I see this as an incredible chapter in our species history, as well as an enormous opportunity to support a company that is changing the world for the better. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Have you learned anything? It took me blooming ages to write. Let me know in the comments if you have. I haven't come up with a tagline yet how to end it. I just, I just, I just say bye. Yeah, yeah, see you later. Thanks for stopping by. Just doesn't roll off my English tongue, does it? Smash that like button. Fly. Go away.